Scientists have just discovered something incredible, a geometric pattern that appears everywhere in nature, from seashells to zebras to onions. This mysterious pattern is virtually ubiquitous, and the craziest thing is, as soon as you know what you're looking for, you will recognize it everywhere. So make sure to stay until the end, because this discovery will change your view of reality forever. Welcome, guys. You probably know it when you are installing a new bathroom. Then you usually use tiles with straight edges and sharp corners, squares or rectangles, which can be neatly laid next to each other. Nature, on the other hand, does it completely differently. If you take a look around you, you'll notice that nature almost never uses straight lines and sharp corners. An international research team has now discovered why this is the case and has defined a completely new geometric shape. If you always want to be informed about such groundbreaking discoveries, then leave a subscription right now, because on this channel here, I will keep you up to date on all these exciting topics. Subscribing is absolutely free and you will help me reach my big goal of 100,000 subscribers. There aren't many left. Thank you very much, folks. The scientists call their newly discovered form soft cell. At first, it sounds like a boy band from the 80s. In this case, however, it has nothing to do with tainted love, but with geometry. A soft cell is a geometric shape that has as few sharp corners as possible, but is still able to completely fill a surface or a space. It is, so to speak, the opposite of our bathroom tiles. And once you understand what this form looks like, you really recognize it everywhere. In the shell of a nautilus shell, in the stripes of a zebra, even in a normal cross-section of an onion. Not only does nature abhor a vacuum, says Alan Gorilli of the University of Oxford, one of the scientists involved, it also seems to abhor sharp corners. And that somehow makes sense, because sharp corners are extremely impractical for nature. Think of a soap bubble, which is always perfectly round because the surface tension softens all corners. Or a water droplet hanging on a leaf, which is never cube-shaped. Nature always strives for the energetically most favorable state. And it usually has as few corners as possible. But what does such a soft cell actually look like? In two dimensions, on a surface, a soft cell has only two sharp corners. That is the absolute minimum possible if you still want to fill a surface with it. A zebra's stripes are a perfect example of such two-dimensional soft cells. If you look at the stripes closely, you will see that they actually only have two sharp points. The rest is wonderfully softly curved. In three dimensions, it gets even more exciting because there a soft cell can even do completely without sharp corners. That may sound impossible at first. How can you fill a room with nothing but round shapes? But nature has been doing it for millions of years. The absolute superstar among three-dimensional soft cells is the chamber of a nautilus shell. These beautiful sea creatures build their shells in a perfect soft cell shape. And not only that, the shape is so perfect that it can be described mathematically exactly. Gabo Domokos from the Technical University of Budapest explains, These forms appear not only in art, but also in biology. If you look at cross sections of muscle tissue, you can see the cells with only two sharp corners, which is a very special type of surface filling. And the scientists have even developed an algorithm that can convert ordinary geometric shapes into soft cells, you take a cube, for example, and soften all its edges. That sounds simple at first, but mathematically, it is extremely complicated because the shape must still be able to completely fill the space. Incidentally, it seems that some artists and architects recognize the beauty of soft cells long before the scientists. The famous architect Zaha Hadid, for example, who is also known as the Queen of Curves, used almost exclusively soft flowing forms in her futuristic buildings. Their structures look like gigantic soft cells. However, the discovery of these soft cells is not only aesthetically interesting, it could also have very practical applications. Scientists suspect, for example, that this form is particularly stable while using little material. And that could be very useful in architecture, as well as in mechanical engineering or aerospace. The most fascinating thing about it all for me is that nature has always been smarter than we are, while we humans have tried to figure it out for millennia. Evolution has long found the perfect form to organize the world with straight lines and sharp corners, a form that is both efficient and beautiful. And now that we have finally understood it mathematically, we suddenly see it everywhere. What is particularly exciting about the Nautilus, for example, is that the chambers are not just soft cells, 
but room-filling soft cells. This means that if you place many of these chambers next to each other, there are no gaps in between. So nature is not only beautiful here, but also maximally efficient. No wonder that this animal has existed practically unchanged for over 500 million years. The design is simply perfect. And speaking of perfect design, just imagine what a world would look like that consists entirely of soft cells. A world without sharp corners, where everything blends gently into each other, perhaps our architecture will develop in this direction. With modern 3D printers, it would no longer be a problem to build such organic forms. The discovery of soft cells shows us once again that reality is more fascinating than anything we can imagine. Nature follows its own mathematics, and if we look closely, we can unlock its secrets, although in this case, looking closely has taken thousands of years. That's how long humans have been building with straight edges and sharp corners. Until we finally understood that nature usually does it quite differently. The mathematician Scheim Gutmann Strauss describes the new breakthrough like this. They have found a language for describing cellular materials that could be physically more realistic than the strict polyhedral model that mathematicians have been playing with for millennia. That's why mathematicians are so unpopular at parties, because they always express themselves so complicatedly. Essentially, he means that the previously common polyhedral model is based on geometric shapes like cubes or other shapes with straight edges and clear corners, which are rarely found in nature. In contrast, the new model of soft cells realistically represents natural curved shapes and could thus provide a better physical explanation of how materials and biological structures are organized in nature. And by the way, we even encounter soft cells in space. In astronomy, there are structures such as interstellar bubbles that are created by stellar winds and expand in space without sharp edges. Magnetospheres and shock fronts around planets also form rounded, flexible boundaries that are reminiscent of the adaptability of soft cells. This structure is truly everywhere, from the smallest on Earth to the largest in the cosmos. Let me know if you can think of any more examples of such soft cells in nature. I would be very interested. What an incredible discovery, a completely new geometric pattern that has always been there, just waiting to be discovered by us. And the best part is, from now on you will see it everywhere, in snail shells, zebras, onions, everywhere, soft cells. If you don't want to miss anything about such exciting scientific discoveries in the future, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel now and activate the bell. Who knows, maybe the scientists will discover the next universal nature pattern tomorrow. Yes. Fundamental research can really be dangerous, as an incredible story from Vietnam shows. Here, a physicist held a hand in a particle accelerator. No joke. And what happened next is just as frightening as it is super fascinating. You can learn all about the bizarre story of the so-called Hanoi incident in the video displayed. Be sure to click on the top right. And if you click on the bottom left, you'll go to my space shop. There you can find the shirts from the videos, real meteorites, plush planets, and much more. Every order greatly supports my work. Otherwise, I would say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.